Hi, in this video I'm going to extend the previous circle wipe video. The previous video is up there uh, to allow designers to change the colour of the circle fade and add a texture if they want to fade into. And all of this happens after the fade. So as it stands just now, our fader only goes to black. That's all it does, it just goes to black. There's no other colour in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that to allow any colour. So I'm going to open up my circle wipe controller and I am going to add a new property. So public color, uh, we'll call this fade color equals color dot black. So we'll default it to being black. And then down here in our setup shader, our update shader, we're going to say material dot set color. Uh, and this is going to be um, fade color. And then we're going to specify the fade color inside here. Now, we haven't created fade color in our shader yet, so this isn't going to work. Um, but it's fairly easy to do it. So if we go into our shader here, uh, you notice we get our properties up here. So we have our properties here. And down here we have our variables that is used in the uh, fragment shader down here. So I'm going to create a new property up here called fade color, which is fade color. Actually, it's column that's there. And then this is a color. And I'm going to set it to a default value. Now, the default value is red, green, blue, alpha. So I'm going to set it to be 0 red, 0 green, 0 blue, 0 alpha. That's going to be the default color. And then this fade color here, we also have to replicate down here, which is going to be fixed for. Uh, and then I think you've got to put in color. You've got to give it like, you've got to tell it the, the context it's in. I think. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, please leave a comment below as to why you have to specify that it's a color. Uh, maybe we'll try it without color, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you've got to call it, you've got to give it the this color specifier uh, and then down in our fragment shader instead of fixed for zero I'm going to change that to fade color so when we go back to here um, if I select my main camera you see that our fade color is black here um, so if I run this and then I press punk, it will fade down to black like so, and if I change the fade color, change it to a red, so now it's that red color, uh, it will fade to red, which is perfect. So it's any color we want, we could we could make it, we could change it over time, we could make it any color that we, we desire, uh, and there's a nice green color there. Uh, but sometimes we also want to change it so that it is a texture instead of uh, the fade color. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new texture in here. So I already have a texture which is over here. Um, fade texture, here we go. Okay. Um, the fade texture is actually the thumbnail for this video, or at least it will be the thumbnail for this video. Uh, it isn't, I haven't got the thumbnail yet. And for the circle wipe, what I'm going to do is go up to here and do public texture uh, fade texture and then it's not going to be set to any value and the reason why it's not going to be set to any value is because in in the shader i can specify a blank texture so if we go back to shader here uh, you'll see that main text is white and what that does is it creates a one by one texture that is filled with white and doesn't have anything in it so we're going to create another one here called fade texture fade text and it's also going to be white and we'll do the same thing down here sampler 2d uh, fade text and then um, i've got the fade color here but i'm also going to have uh, fade call equals and then it's going to be the fade color 
multiplied by fade text at that UV coordinate. So it's going to sample. So remember the main texture is our render screen. So if it's outside of that radius, it's going to sample from another texture, which is going to be our, oops, which is going to be our fade texture. And then we're going to take that pixel and we're going to multiply that by the fade color. And this is where we can do all these kind of really powerful things where we can have, you know, like a, a rainbow effect across the screen, or um, we can have it pulsing different colors just be, just by specifying a different fade color, maybe making it a function. You can make it a function of a sine wave or a cosine wave or a combination of the two and have some really interesting uh, things in there. So instead of having fade color down here, we're now going to have fade color. And really color means the color of the pixel, remember. Um, so this is going to be our fade texture. And we also need to remember what fade text is up here. And down here, inside our material, we do material dot set texture. And then it's going to be fade text, fade texture. Uh, and that's all we need to do. So if we go back to our, so our main camera, we're fading to, to zero just now. So let's fade to uh, black. Uh, so if we fade out now, uh, and we click that, it fades out to black. Now we have this ability here to, to set the fade texture. If I drag and drop this on here, uh, and then we run it again, what's going to happen? It's going to show us black. And the reason why it's going to show us black is because the fade color is black. However, if I set the fade color to white, and now I rerun it, what happens? Boom. It now fades into a texture. Uh, and, and that's it. And you can do really cool things. So you can set that to be green, for example. Um, so if I set this to be like a lime green like that, so when I fade it out, it fills it in with a green color. Um, I can make it really horrible and magenta -y. Uh And it fills it in with a magenta color. And that's it. That's the making uh, it extensible. So we can change the color uh, if we get rid of the texture as well. So we delete the texture uh, and then we fade it out. We just get the magenta. And if we add a texture, then it adds the texture in its place. And that's the that's it. That's the <laughs> our white fade shader. Pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Please leave a comment below, um, and you know ask me any questions you want about the, the the shaders. I'm still, to be honest, I'm still learning myself, but I've, I've found these kind of uh, at least so far uh, helpful. <laughs> Uh, and I hope you I hope you do as well. Uh, if you would like timely reminders of when I put a new video up, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, um, and yeah, just share out share out this uh, this video if it's been at all helpful to you because it, it will really help the channel out, and and I appreciate it very much. Uh, so yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.